right, welcome back to uh, Ricketts Reef 140. So here we go. We have to stand almost ignore that that little wood putty spot. I got a I nicked it tonight and put a big gouge in it. So I got to fix that up. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's still it's still curing. So uh, the paint isn't a hundred percent bulletproof. Like the the stuff inside, which is the same stuff technically, but it's a month and a half maybe two months cured and that stuff is bulletproof it's fantastic it's really hard to come off unless you really work at it this stuff on the outside same stuff but it's only you know a couple days old and it was well, dry to the touch but it's you can tell it's not cured it's not fully bonded to the uh to the primer and to the to the panels but it'll get there and hopefully you know i don't get it too wet and uh, mess up that curing time but here we are cover on the left some stuff down there i've got the, the big canopy up there i'm gonna ledge around the outside there um so that's that's it it's not bad i think i think it's not bad it's good enough for the people i hang out with um you know i'm not a carpenter and all i have is a chop saw and a five and three eighths mini uh, circle saw it's awesome great I love that thing I can do a lot of stuff with it but you know for DIY I think it's all right so let's take a look at the inside uh, and go over a few things I'm thinking I was gonna use this for fish food but now I'm thinking about using it for electrical at least for some of the electrical like the uh, power head controllers I have ordered power heads and a bunch of other stuff uh, so when that comes I will be basically finishing her off uh, within the next week or two. Uh, so the power heads controllers, I think will be going here and a lot of the reef pie stuff will go here and I'll probably still have enough room for, you know, a, a container of flakes and PE mysis or whatever. Uh, so that'll be kind of my, my easy regular access area and then frag tank eventually and calcium reactor or something, maybe eventually, uh, down here. Oops, so I've got these handles all over. Uh, is the sump area. I've kind of started a little bit of uh, setting things up, thinking about placement. So skimmer, heater, return pumps. I'll, I'll do a review and an overview of the equipment as I go and as I use it. I don't really like giving overviews. I find they're pretty useless, uh, so I'd prefer to Tell people what I think about a product after I've used it for a while. Um, I was going to have like this board there, this kind of angled board for controllers, but because of this ledge, it was just, it didn't work. It just didn't work. So I just took it off. This ledge is really nice. I think it's going to be a lot of help for when I'm doing things with the tank um, because I'll be opening up that and I'll, I'll want a place to, to put stuff. My last tank had this huge middle brace and I used that thing a lot. Like it was really helpful, but this tank doesn't have that uh, because I went with the Euro brace. I've still got the access to the side of the aquarium. So that's, that's nice. Uh, if I don't put electrical down there, uh, at least fully and wholly, uh, I might be doing a refugium down here. I'm thinking and down there. Maybe down there. I still haven't decided. Uh, I did buy this this Fuji light, so I'm going to start cutting some glass. I am going to go with a probably a full-on Chato or Fugium. Um, got this from Amazon. It's like 35 bucks Canadian. A lot of people have used it and liked it. It's not fancy. It's just plug in and it goes on. So you, you have to put it in a timer uh, of some sort or hook it up to a switch, which of course the Reef Pie does. So. Uh, we'll give that a go. We'll try it out. It's cheaper than I could make it. So uh, I'll explain that later on. Uh, in terms of the top, so let's take a look. Uh, so, oh, yeah, put a handle here, make it easier. So I just kind of pop that. And we go up in here. Now, if you see over here, I've got this, I found it in my garage. It's just this little. I don't even know what it was from. Some plastic L thing. And all I do is I put, oop, 
put a stick in there and it holds up the leg. Easy. And then I can get in there, I can get right in there, I can get in and do all my stuff and I can reach the back of the tank. I can get to the lights easy, they, they won't be in the way too much. I can feed, of course, feeding, cleaning, all that kind of stuff. So I've got good access and then of course the air will be coming in. Now, uh, I can't see it there. So the fans will be sucking air in the top from this small gap between these two boards, between the uh, hood lifter and the top of this cabinet. And then also it'll be pulling down air into all those areas because there's going to be other fans. And then the air will ventilate across here, down there to the floor and out. And then across here, over through here and out. So that's that's the ventilation. There's going to be quite a lot of it, uh, just to because it is. Well, at least it's, it's seemingly fully enclosed, and it would be if I didn't have any uh, forced air. So, got to do something to keep those those gas levels low. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I think it will work. It's got a few bells and whistles that you know a lot of stands. If you just buy them, don't have. It's usually just a cupboard with doors. Uh, this one's got a few extra things to tailor it to my needs. The big one being, I did not want light creep into this room from hanging light fixtures, especially with the TV there. So I needed to block the light on this side, especially. And then also uh, nice to block that so I'm not burning my eyes when I'm looking at the tank. Um, that is something I did not like with my last aquarium I did not like the exposed lights because LEDs are bright and they hurt my eyes <laughs> and I've got uh, I've got sensitive peepers I've got a I've got an implant in my right eye and uh, so light glare is a big issue for me so staring at bulbs of any kind sometimes I'll see like two or three of them so this will this will get rid of that effect and then I'll be able to just look at the fish and the corals and stuff and enjoy them. So yeah, pretty excited. I will update with the plumbing and the electrical soon. All right, later.